So let's talk about Koti. Now, when I saw Koti months ago, I was like saying, this is one of the older platforms. Why? Because there is too much platforms. Like, we we'll have like 40 ICOs that are running every day. I was like, most times I don't have interest in looking at platforms. But I took, I took a second look on the platform. I said, Koti, what is Koti doing? So, Koti is the currency of the internet. They are seeking to solve some problems. Now, if you look at the traditional centralized systems, when it comes to the meat, meat, uh, the means of payments, you can walk into a store, a physical shop, and then you could pay. You hand them your money, you take the goods, and you go. But when you are seeking to transact with someone, that is in another part of the world, then there has to be systems in place, either protocols or intermediaries that will help make sure that that, uh, that trade actually comes to pass. Now, it's like the mobile phone. If you are in the same room with someone, there is no need to talk with them via the mobile phone. But if you are in point A and you want to talk with someone in point B, then there is a need for a communication system. We have the email, we have um, voice over the internet, a uh, uh, voice over, uh, we are super the internet protocol, Skype and the rest of them. So we're talking about money. That actually brought systems like Mastercard, Visa, PayPal, Stripe, many of them into the bin. How many of them they do a lot of good, they help with straws and all that, but it's cost. There are problems that go with them, like they can choose to authorize a transaction and say, no, 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 we're not authorizing this transaction. It becomes a problem. It takes a lot of time and for every transaction that is turned down, that is money turned off. And then for every trade that is being slowed, that is very, very bad. Now, when you, many people say, oh, they brought Bitcoin. And then Bitcoin came into the scene and Bitcoin has been very, very successful. A lot of people came, bought Bitcoin and all that. And then many other cryptocurrency came, some of them just took the code change the one thing or the other and then we now have a cryptocurrency and they are saying cryptocurrency is going to change the world but if you look at cryptocurrency cryptocurrency has some place number one is that cryptocurrency is volatile so you don't want let's take for example you someone bought an item for 100 dollars from your store and then the next day because crypto is volatile if the one hundred dollars goes up, it becomes two hundred dollars. Ah, the, the trader will be happy, yeah, right. But the trader is also afraid that that one hundred dollars, because crypto is volatile, could become twenty dollars. Yeah, could become twenty dollars. So cryptocurrency are volatile. That is another thing. The another thing again is the trust issue. Now I remember in the early days, um, I think. I think it was even recently I, I saw a platform, uh, it's called um, Telegram Core. Telegram Core. There was a service called Telegram Core. And then I just went, is it Core Boot or something like that? I can't really remember the name. I wanted to uh, book for um, a call online. And I went, I paid, is it $20 or something like that? The end of the day, I did not receive anything. I was not able to make call and all that. Now, if you have crypto and you now have a store, let's say an online store, anybody can set up an online store, right? Somebody can design a website by themselves or can use Shopify or um, any, any of these marketplaces. Now, what about if you buy an item, let's say you, you bought a shoe. Now, if they did not send you the shoe, if it is in a centralized world, there is a mediation process. You can, there can be, uh, uh, you, they, they can be credit card charge back. If you're using the platform like PayPal, you can go for a dispute and you can dispute that. But when it comes to cryptocurrency, the money is already with the person. There is no way you can do the charge back. It, that has a benefit and it also has uh, the pros. That is another, uh, that is another uh, problem. 
And then another problem is that these blockchain systems are not fast, they are not scalable. So you see, even with the Bitcoin network, the more nodes you are adding to the system, it remains the same. So it's not fast. So we're talking about seven transactions per second. And Tio, you're talking about, let's say, like less than 20, 14 transactions per second. And you're talking about the centralized systems that can process thousands of transactions per second. Cryptocurrency have no place. Then another thing again, why cryptocurrencies are not really, really fit for the real digital economy or the fintech industry currently is that cryptocurrencies are not regulatory compliant. Nobody wants to do that. There is no government in the world. If you are actually authorizing crypto to be used as a means of payment, then there has to be a regulatory process. The amazing thing is that the internet, anybody can set up a website. But the question is, if someone sets up a website and they accepts credit card and does not deliver on the promise, right? I can go through the mediation process. But what about they set up a website and they are setting cryptocurrency? You don't know who owns the account. And now we also have privacy claims. So they are not really, really fit for real world use. That is the case. So what is the solution that uh, Koti is bringing to the table? The solution that Koti is bringing to the table are very, very um, simple. First, let's cut off this middleman. Second, let's disrupt the space. So how would they do that? Koti invented what we call the trust the trust chain. So the trust chain is a directed acyclic graph distributed like technology. So rather than say blockchain, in Koti it's called trust chain. And that trust chain can possess 10,000 transactions per second. And it's faster than any other blockchain that is out there. Now that thing again is that the Koti system has all called the hedging marketplace hedge. So it gives, uh, it serves as, uh, gives an edge to merchants for 30 days. So if you receive X amount of payments, it's going to be X amount of payments for 30 days. So the issue of crypto is volatile, is of the same. Now the next thing is that Koti is making sure that they go for mass adoption. So how would they do that? By obtaining the necessary regulatory permits, licenses, and all that. And then you might be asking, okay, what about in the case of um, in the case of disputes, who's going to who's going to solve uh, that? So in the case of disputes, here is what happens. Koti has um, a list of incentivized juries. So what that actually means is there are people who are called juries in the system. And for you to become a jury, first, it's based on your reputation score. Now, not only based on your reputation score, you are staking your Koti coins on the network to become a jury. So what that means is that if you judge right, not being biased, if you judge right, you get the reward. But if you don't judge right, you lose the reward. So that is what that is how Koti solves the mediation process. Now, what is the go-to-market strategy of Koti? Koti is trying to build a full ecosystem where they will have a coin. The coin you can actually use in the online marketplace and then they also have a wallet application and then the next thing again that they're going to have is a debit card where you can actually use for payment so this debit card is not a kind of debit card that is going to be a mastercard or a visa card emblem because he has already partnered with some companies like processing.com to enable them 
have this debit card and give it to the users and owners. And we also have an exchange. So the exchange will allow people to be able to exchange the top 20 coins. Using if you use the quarter coins, you are not paying any transaction fee. It's zero, it's zero fees. Now they've already acquired partnership with uh, processing.com and the partnership processing.com has 10,000 missions they sign the partnership uh, and we have 2,000 uh, missions that have already signed up to use this platform so there is already um, stops already uh, around the pipeline and then we have Bangkok we have Wings you have all uh, these other partners and many more to come so the question you might be asking okay why are we mission to use Kuti? the reason is um there is better liquidity like more liquidity is provided to users because these things are no more um it's no more taking time it's not that volatile and then um they're not charging more fees and all and all that there will be more transaction going on and then there will be lower fees so that is why people will use Koti. it's faster than all that now if you look at the team the team consists of experts from various fees they're actually based in israel tel aviv israel i can't really pronounce it shahaf permit sorry Shahaf Bar Shinfin is an Israeli um dying doctor Naya Hello <laughs> Sorry. So the team they are, they are really really uh, well experienced. Now you might be asking the, the, the blockchain that they produced using the directed as a calligraph, the simulation is actually there. Let's see the simulation. So this is the simulation. This is directed as a calligraph. You can see. So if you go on 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 the website, you will see uh, their papers. They have a technical paper that explains how everything how the protocol works so this is not just a kind of uh, system where you can spend like hours literally going through the platform how the protocol works and all that so this is a revolutionary tech as in it was even the the, the tech the technical paper that i said wow okay what are these guys actually doing and it makes a lot of sense now implementing the quality protocol if we take all this middleman away, there is a possibility of getting like five thousand dollars. There is an estimate that the average family is able to get five thousand dollars by just avoiding these systems. So you you you, you should you should think of it by just avoiding the system. Now the the technology, which is the trust chain. On the website, there is a comparison of this tech with other platforms. Where is it? Okay. Uh, the comparison with Visa, the comparison with other blockchains, and the comparison with other DAX like Nano, IOTA, and all that. If you look at the system, this technology, the Koti technology, which is the, uh, the, the base protocol, which is called trust chain, can be used in insurance, remittance, high frequency trading, just name it. So that is everything about Koti in a nutshell. The pre is over, the ICO information will be on the website when they put it. So guys, that is all. Let's see the, ad the address that this CEO of processing gave. Koti addresses and, and, and takes into account a number of the key pain points that merchants in business are like have on a daily basis. 
could see actually shift the paradigm in a way that digital currencies now present the future. However, Koti is pushing it. They have to, uh, a lot of video that explains, that gives uh, information about the team. You can follow them up on Twitter and all that. So guys, do have a very nice day.